Hey girls, welcome to my channel. Um, in today's video, I'm, I just want to chat with you guys heart to heart on the things that I've learned ever since I got engaged, which was like two months ago. So <laughs> I've had a lot of lessons. <laughs> Stop, like slow it down. I think I really need to slow it down because the first thing I noticed was I got muted. To an extent, I kind of understand maybe, you know, sometimes you just make people uncomfortable when you are too excited about something or when maybe that situation could be triggering something. So I definitely have compassion, but to an extent, I'm a little, my feelings were a little bit hard. Like, come on now, like, you're supposed to be my bridesmaid. Why you do this to me? Ah. <laughs> we are cool though, but I just know or I realized that I was muted. Okay, it sucks. Like. You know, sometimes you just want, there are certain people who you really want them to be like really happy for you because their opinion kind of matters to you. And then when they like mute you or like, I don't know, just act a little bit funny, it can hurt your feelings. And my feelings were a little bit, a little bit, not so much, but just, I, uh, it was enough for me to notice because that's how much you matter to me. You promised to be my bridesmaid. And now you're muting me on Instagram. Okay, second thing I learned. I thought I loved my boyfriend, but I realized that my fiance, it's a different kind of love. Like I love this man so much, more and more than I thought I could love him. But part of it could be less distraction from, <laughs> not niggas, <laughs> less distraction from maybe the thoughts of what if and unsurety, or maybe just like, you never know, you know, because you know the way like, I don't know, maybe this is just drama, <laughs> just drama, but any girl dating a Caucasian guy, you always, like, there's a part of you that just know that these guys can just wake up one day and their minds have changed and there's nothing you can do about it. So there's that part of me that maybe stopped me from just like, like I loved him, but maybe there's a part of me that had a little bit of like, you never know, like you just never know when someone will wake up and they're like, bye bye. Although being engaged or even married to, I guess, occasions doesn't really matter, like they wake up the next day and that was whatever, but to an extent, I just feel like my God, I didn't have a God as much, but even the little God that I have is just completely Lord. And because of that, I've, I feel that I, love my fiance even more than i love my boyfriend <laughs> yeah from the previous video we we're speaking about like appearance and whether that matters if you haven't watched it is this one um and talking of appearance i just want to quickly mention the sponsors of today's video and this is Anna Luisa. Thank you so much for sponsoring today. They sent me the amazing jewelry I have. I've got their earrings. I've got a really pretty dainty sparkly um, necklace. What I love the most is this one. Um, it's their jewelry box and I specifically, this one even has a mirror. Mm, I can see myself. I specifically love this jewelry box because there's one thing about me is I'm gonna lose my earrings and I'm gonna lose my rings. I'm gonna lose my jewelry. <laughs> but this seems so perfect. Like if I'm traveling, I can just put the things here. So I don't just have to wear one like earring forever. And I can keep my rings. It has pouches. I, I love it. Look, you can hang, you can hang your jewelry here. You can put your necklaces there. You can put different rings so that they don't tangle and oh my god i love that okay something else i love is they have high quality jewelry that is from that that is affordable which is really nice considering especially if you are one of the girlies that like to look good on a budget this is definitely for you another thing is they're a carbon neutral company and that includes their packaging which is so beautiful like it even comes in colors. I love this. Last but not least is they have very uh, unique designs that are just very classy, very timeless, also extra. Oh my God, it's the sparkle season. I'm obsessed. Ooh, love it. If you're like me and you really appreciate like looking nice, going out, you know, just looking put together, go ahead, click my link and you'll have 10% off your purchase. And it's important that you click my link because it matters, okay? <laughs> the thing I've learned about myself, and oh my God, this is crazy. Time spent alone has become way more beautiful for me than it was before. I'm a middle child, meaning I have a lot of abandonment issues. 
<laughs> Ooh. If you come from an African household, you know the firstborn and the lastborn are the two people that matters the most. And I love company. But I realized that ever since I got engaged and forgets, we are practically together every day. <laughs> it's nice to be with him, but also being by myself alone in my house. <sighs> it's so good it's hitting different <laughs> but i guess it hits different because i just know it's very temporary and soon oh my god soon i'm somebody's wife like that thing is so wild to me the thing i've realized is how much my love language is slowly changing but this is something that i noticed actually over time slowly even like early on since ever since we met and my love language like how i show love to people is i i'm, I'm a gift giver i love to give gifts however i personally don't like things like <laughs> i just don't like things so before you give me anything ask me because nine out of ten i don't want it so my love language has always been words of affirmation and quality times i love words I fall in love with my ears so if you're somebody that loves me go in my comment section type something nice i live on comp like i love to hear it tell me what you think i'm amazing that's my love language his love language is quality time and physical contact and i in my head i didn't never saw where like acts of service could be a love language that i appreciate and now just being served by my to be husband oh girl you know i cannot say yes to everything i have a husband bae girl i just like to call his name because i have a husband. <laughs> husband like seeing my things they serve me in thoughtful ways just melt my heart part of it being maybe have being african and so on i'm just socialized to believe that i'm supposed to serve my husband that's not something that like i'm conscious of my mom did not come to me and tell me hey you need to serve your man no 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 however having grown up african i feel like i'm kind of socialized to serve my man so much so that acts of service has never been my love language like i do not feel like for my partner to show me love they gotta give me acts of service but somehow somehow watching my man do these little things for me here and there like in my house coming and doing thoughtful things cooking for me it melts my heart so much and i'm like <laughs> I become so like, oh, you know, uh, Rachel, what have I become? <laughs> Something else is, and maybe this ties out also to time spent alone, is I am such a homebody. The amount of times I have cancelled plans is alarming. And I know that I'm not the girl that wakes up and ditches her friends when she's in a relationship. Like, I'm not that girl and I think it's kind of bad. <laughs> maybe deep down, I'm really mentally preparing myself to be a homemaker which i feel like naturally i am but now more than ever i just feel like i want to be home i want to fix my house i want to fix things or maybe part of it is that i genuinely love my apartment and it has nothing to do with my fiance <laughs> maybe that's it but i genuinely love being home i will burn my candles make it so cozy stay home over plants i'm not going out drinking I've realized that all of a sudden questions about motherhood, parenting, being a mother, getting pregnant, all those things are starting to like, I'm starting to hear them louder than I used to. Hmm? I just wanted to add that mo most of these questions are coming from people like anytime they meet me, like, hey, congratulations, your children are going to be so cute. When are the children like? it's mostly from people and it's such a sensitive topic it makes me extremely anxious oh my god but also like i've also started to ask myself these questions and the pressure has gotten wasa so if you meet me and you're my friend please refrain yourself from asking me these questions because they're keeping me awake at night okay. will i be a good mother how do i want to raise those kids will i yell will i spark them oh my god will i put them in a corner will i like all those things are starting to echo so loudly in my ears and i'm like please keep quiet like let me let me let me at least fertilize them eggs first okay i want to finish this on a little bit of a spicy note but here's how i feel when i see my guy oh my god rachel stop <laughs> i'm so embarrassed at meeting this because what what god what <laughs> yeah and i really find my hand my man very handsome and 
I am lasting over him. Oh, I shouldn't say this things. I, I, I can't say too much into details because this video is sponsored and I want my sponsors to stay here. <laughs> However, I really feel like I'm so attracted to my man in that way and I just cannot slow down. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of my sponsors, remember to click the link in description and go shop. Get yourself some jewelry, tag me on Instagram if you found something cute. And until then, my lovely girls, I see you in the next one.